Hello everyone, it is Tom with the SS Motion back here again today, and today we're taking a quick look at the brand new Elite design for the Halo Megablocks line for 2015. So we have two figures here, we have an original mold Elite Zealot, and we have the new mold Jewel Mandama from this year's Ghost set, review of that to be coming at some point in the future by Jonathan and Simon. Um, so we're going to dive in, we're going to compare the two, and we're going to kind of see how the new Elite design has really improved these figures. So if we take a look at the old mold Elite first, we can see we're all familiar with this old mold. It was nice at the time, it has a lot of nice texture work to it. The cool design in the legs to kind of give the Elite... Uh, that appearance of the Elite's anatomy within the game in terms of the bent leg. You can see kind of where a joint could have been here, but instead we only had one knee joint in this figure. And it of course uses the old elbow joints without any extra swivel that's been seen on the new UNSC figures. Now if we compare this to the new figure, we can see instinctively that Jewel Mandama is much taller than the old figure, and this is him not even stood at full height. We can see that his shoulders are much broader. And we also, again, get a look at some of the additional articulation on this figure. We can see that he has an elbow swivel here, allowing him to really get the weapon across compared to just a standard bend at the elbow. And we can also see this brand new leg design which bends in two places, which is very cool. So, in addition to this, the new mold elites are unique compared to the old ones in terms of the fact that they have removable armor. We can remove the helmets, leaving a Sangilli head mold. Give that a second to focus. With a hole in the head. We can remove shoulder plates, leaving exposed shoulders with the little tabs that the armor clips onto. We can remove the chest armor. This is a little bit fiddly, you kind of have to get a nail in there, and it splits into two sections, like so. We can then also remove The crotch armour, and of course, clipping that back into place, we can also remove the thigh armour. So pretty much your standard kind of removable armour system. The same pieces of armour are removable as seen on the Spartans and Marines, except uh, with the addition of the helmet. Then you can see the base elite figure without any armour on. So that is very cool. The new design is awesome in terms of capturing the elite's appearance a bit more. If we balance it there. And if we then bring in a UNSC figure, this is my customised Noble Six. We can see that, in fact, with some posing, the elites are taller than human figures, like they should be within the Halo universe. So, Megablocks have really hit it out in the park with these new mold elites. They're fantastic figures, and now that I have given you an individual showcase on them, you can look forward to better looks at the individual variants they've done so far within the Ghost Review, coming up from Simon and Jonathan, the Scorpion Sting Review, coming up from Jonathan, and the Banshee review also coming from Jonathan. So that's it guys, it's been a quick look at the new mold elites for the 2015 Halo line. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time this has been Tom with the SS Motion, have a great day.